Hello, everyone. I wish I could see. <laughs> well, welcome to the third annual Utah State University Faculty Award Ceremony. I'm Larry Smith, Provost and Chief Academic Officer, and I'll be co-hosting this event with Dr. Lisa Barrow, our Vice President for Research. Before we begin, we would like to acknowledge the following. As a land-grant institution, Utah State University campuses and centers reside and operate on the territories of the eight tribes of Utah who have been living, working, and residing on this land from time immemorial. These tribes are the confederated tribes of the Goshute Indians, Navajo Nation, Ute Indian Tribe, Northwestern Band of Shoshone, Paiute Indian Tribe of Utah, San Juan Southern Tiger, Skull Valley Band of Goshu, and White Mesa Band of the Ute Mountain Ute. We acknowledge these lands carry the stories of these nations and their struggles for survival and identity. We recognize elders, past and present, as peoples who have cared for and continue to care for the land. <coughs> in offering this land acknowledgement, we affirm indigenous self-governance, history, experiences, and resiliency of the Native people who are still here today. Well, this year was especially extraordinary for Utah State University, with several new records set such as funding for research, and also in fundraising and alumni support. On Monday, President Cockett, in her State of the University address, spoke about the many outstanding achievements and milestones at USU. To me, the most noteworthy thing about that is that many of these great accomplishments are attributable to USU faculty because of their brilliance, innovation, devotion and persistence, energy, and grit. So while today at this event we are honoring a handful of very special high achievers among the USU faculty, we would be remiss if we didn't take this opportunity to thank all USU faculty and recognize the life-changing impact you have on, on students and your field of passion. Your contributions to USU's mission for outstanding education, research, service, and outreach are changing the world for the better. And you need to know USU is proud of all of you and grateful for your dedication to this institution. <coughs> With that, I'll now, I'll now turn the program over to Vice President Burr. Okay, is the mic on now? <laughs> That's a message, Larry. <sighs> Well, first, I want to echo uh, what Provost Smith said. We are incredibly thankful for the vital ways that you all support Utah State University. I just wanted to also highlight a few extra examples of how faculty have helped propel, propel USU forward in 2022. In our education mission, we've seen continued expansion of our enrollments and student access. We're very excited that this year brought the creation of the College of Veterinary Medicine. USU's ninth college will create a strong new graduate education opportunity while easing the regional shortage of veterinarians and bolstering the state's life sciences technology sector. In our research mission, we're continuing to highlight our recognition as a Carnegie Research One institution, which reflects our growth in research activities and places us 
in the top tier of universities nationwide, last year we saw even more growth with record levels in research awards and expenditures. And in our outreach mission, two new institutes will help USU share our expertise more broadly. The Haravi Peace Institute and the Janet Quinney Lawson Institute for Land, Water, and Air are connecting USU faculty and students with each other and with leaders and citizens in the state to help address some of the most critical issues of our day. These are just a few examples of the countless ways Utah State University is moving forward, growing and expanding our positive influence. We would like to again take this opportunity to thank you, our faculty, our world-class research, teaching, service, and outreach that you consistently perform for Utah State University. The recognitions we are awarding today are the highest honors given by USU to recognize faculty achievements. Before we begin announcing the nominees and recipients of the 2023 Faculty Awards, Vice President for Diversity, Equity, and Inclusion, Jay Narungu, would like to acknowledge the contributions of three additional Faculty Award recipients from 2022. We're excited to begin and celebrate all you've done this year. So sit back, relax, and celebrate. Let's celebrate together. Jane? Thank you, Vice President Peru. USU has committed to ensuring that our university is a place where all people belong and thrive. This commitment is evident in the work you do on campus and on our community. It is my pleasure to recognize the faculty recipients of the 2022 Diversity Awards and the USU Presidential Awards for Civic and Community Engagement. The 2022 Diversity Faculty of the Year awardee is Dr. Beth Bozari. Beth, can you please stand? Is Beth here? <clears throat> Equity and diversity are at the core of, the, of Dr. Bozari's scholarship, which focuses on writing, program administration, the teaching of composition, critical pedagogies, professional learning, and the intersections of language, knowledge, and power through the lenses of queer theory and critical race theory. In everything she does, Dr. Bougerie models behaviors that promote diversity, equity, and inclusion. Dr. Bougeri particularly enjoys learning with and from both undergraduate and graduate students. Each day she learns something new about the teaching of composition from students' energy, insight, and lived experiences. Congratulations, Dr. Bougeri. The 2022 Community Engagement Awardees are Loslyn McCann and Edwin Stafford. Roslyn is an associate professor in the Department of Environment and, so Environment and Society, and Edwin Stafford is a professor in the Department of Marketing and Strategy. Dr. McCann and Dr. Stafford are working to help improve Utah's air quality via their annual Utah High School Clean Air Marketing Contest. The contest integrates environmental science, art, astute marketing where teens learn about Utah's air pollution problems and how to craft persuasive clean air social messages that can resonate with peers and Utah residents. McCann and Stafford make presentations to dozens of high school art, business, and environmental science classes and club meetings each fall. They teach the teens about Utah's air pollution and ways to preserve air quality. At the same time, they instruct marketing message techniques as the students learn to develop public service announcements. 
Rosalyn and Ed couldn't be here today, but we appreciate their commitment to USU and, commit, uh, and community engagement. They are not here, but please let us give them a round of applause. And now we are pleased to announce the 2023 Faculty Awards. We'll begin the presentation of the Undergraduate Research Faculty Mentor of the Year Award presented by Dr. Alexis Sand, Associate Vice President for Research and Professor of Art History. Hi, thank you, Dr. Rungu. Um, an outstanding undergraduate research mentor provides a role model for methods of inquiry into a field of study and the responsible conduct of research. Outstanding research mentors often give students their very first taste of professional interaction and they support the dissemination of student work through professional conference participation, publications, exhibitions, and performances. So as I read the nominees, please hold your applause to the end. When I announce the institutional winner, we will welcome that person or the representative onto the stage and um, take a moment to pause with the presenter so that we can get a photograph of your um, accepting the award. So, the nominees for the award are as follows. Spencer Bradshaw is an assistant professor in the Marriage and Family Therapy Program in the Department of Human Development and Family Studies. He's mentored countless students since joining our faculty in 2020. His mentorship has led to an environment of inclusivity and student success. In 2022, one of his undergraduate students presented two posters at a national conference and now that same student is co-authoring manuscripts from these projects towards the end of a scholarly publication. And during his career, Dr. Bradshaw has mentored undergraduate researchers through 17 posters and five peer-reviewed journal articles. Courtney Flint is a professor of natural resource and social science in the Department of Environmental, en Environment and Society. Dr. Flint's research focuses on how people and communities respond to changing landscapes and social and national natural resource conditions. Over the past 10 years, she has mentored, wait for it, 57 undergraduate research students. These students whom she has mentored in research have come from programs all across the university and not only from <coughs> environmental studies and sociology. Some of Dr. Flint's students move into researcher positions with her after they graduate, using those positions as transitional experiences that launch their successful graduate school careers. Amita Kondal is an assistant professor in the Department of Plants, Soils, and Climate. In 2019, Dr. Kondal joined USU, and she quickly set up a multidisciplinary lab to develop stress-resilient crops for sustainable agriculture. And in fact, I first became of her work because of a student who had an ERCO. He was a communications student, but he was working in her lab, which I thought was really cool. She has mentored 21 undergraduate students and developed a robust undergraduate research program. She encourages her students to present at USU's fall and spring student research symposia, research on Capitol Hill, Utah Conference on Undergraduate Research, and the National Conference on Undergraduate Research. And she has also encouraged them strongly to apply for ERCO grants or undergraduate research and creative opportunities. Um, her mission is to create scientists, not technicians, through her mentorship. Joyce Kincaid is a distinguished professor of English in the Department of English. Dr. Kincaid has made undergraduate mentorship her priority. With over 70 undergraduates who have authored research articles, some as co-authors with her and some on their own, and I should note that co-authorship is a fairly unusual practice still, especially with students in the humanities until quite recently. 
She created her department's first quantitative intensive course in which students learn research ethics and they engage in human subjects research projects that employ quantitative and qualitative evidence. Dr. Kincaid consistently looks for opportunities for students to develop their writing into publications and other forms of professional dissemination. And in addition to all of this direct mentorship of English students, Dr. Kincaid has played a formative role in the culture of undergraduate research at USU, especially during her years as USU's director of undergraduate research, but also throughout her 40-year career. Holly Murdoch is an assistant professor in the Department of Art and Design. She received her undergraduate degree in interior design at USU and then went on to receive a Master of Fine Arts in Design Thinking from Radford University. Since joining the Interior Architecture Program here at USU in 2020, she has mentored four students for the Kane College Summer Arts Research Grant and continues to work intensively with the third year interior architecture students through their internship experience. Professor Murdoch's expert advice and knowledge regarding professional associations has helped her students achieve remarkable success in national design competitions and competitive internship placements. Dr. Craig Paulson is an assistant professor in the Department of Economics and Finance. As an undergraduate at BYU, it's okay. He published peer-reviewed papers with his undergraduate mentor, and this opportunity inspired Dr. Paulson's desire to afford his students at USU the same quality of undergraduate research experience, or even better. In 2019, he co-founded the Economic History Research Group, which is focused on training students, giving them opportunities to contribute significant economic research, and to build their resumes. Dr. Paulson has also received a $40,000 Emergent Ventures grant to create a YouTube channel that changes the way students are introduced to economics and undergraduate research, because we all know that that is how Gen Z learns things. T.C. Shen is a professor in the Department of Physics, and I met him on my very first day as an Associate Vice President of Research. He joined Utah State in 1999, and in his time at the university has mentored more than 45 undergraduate students. As a result of Professor Shen's mentorship, a number of his students have earned prestigious scholarships and fellowships, including two Goldwater scholarships, two summer undergraduate research fellowships at the National Institute of Standards and Technology, one science undergraduate laboratory internship, three peak fellowships, four College of Science mini grants, and 11 ERCO grants. Professor Shen is currently developing an integrated photonics research program, including a photonics class and a teaching lab, where future undergraduates will be able to engage with him and his research. Hong Chi Wang is an assistant professor in the Department of Electrical and Computer Engineering. He received his PhD from USU in 2018 and then joined the Department of Electrical and Computer Engineering in 2019. He was so good, we couldn't let him go. Since joining USU as a faculty member, he has been dedicated to undergraduate research mentorship. His mentorship has led to source-funded research involving both electrical and mechanical engineering undergraduates in their sophomore through senior years. Many of Dr. Wong's students have decided to continue on to graduate research because of his mentorship, and I have to say he's also one of the faces I always expect to see at our fall undergraduate research fair. He's out there recruiting students and letting people know how fun this is. All right, can we have a round of applause for all these fantastic nominees? And now the envelope moment. We're serious about this stuff. I am pleased to announce that the 2023 Utah State University Undergraduate Research Faculty Member of the Year is, oh, I was supposed to do that on camera, wasn't I? Dr. Joyce Kincaid. So Joyce was unable to be with us today, but, uh, oh, that's the direct route. 
But fortunately, um, Dr. David Lancy is here to accept the award on her behalf. So I, I'm off script a little bit. I've got to go get the award, but we're going to do this. Oh. Never mind. We're good. So we stand over here. Um, two things. First of all, Joyce was very instrumental in creating this award. And secondly, she couldn't be here because she is, I believe at present, delivering a paper on mentoring undergraduate research at a conference in San, in San Antonio. So that's why she's not here. Thank you. Next, Janet Anderson, our Senior Associate Vice President and Senior Vice Provost for uh, Student Achievement, will present the Undergraduate Faculty Mentor of the Year nominees. Good afternoon. Thank you, Dr. Sand. The Undergraduate Faculty Mentor of the Year Award is given to a full-time faculty member who invests in building and encouraging excellence in academic mentoring. The nominees for this award have engaged with students in helping them meet their academic and career goals by being available to them, monitoring their progress, and engaging with them through student clubs, organizations, or leadership development. Here are the nominees, and again, we ask that you hold your applause until all the nominees have been announced. Justin DeRose is an assistant professor in the Department of Wildland Resources. Dr. DeRose is the faculty advisor for all of the forestry majors, teaches several critical forestry courses, and leads the student chapter of the Intermountain Society of American Forests, also known as the Forestry Club in the Quinney College of Natural Resources. He mentors these students by helping them navigate their developing leadership roles and to promote their professional connections. Dr. DeRose also teaches the capstone course for the major, where he challenges students with addressing real-world problems through an interdisciplinary lens. Zach Humes is a professional practice assistant professor in the Department of Mechanical and Aerospace Engineering. Professor Humes has been a member of the faculty since fall of 2020. As the faculty advisor for the USU student section of the American Society of Mechanical Engineers, he was able to re-engage students quickly after the pandemic, putting on activities that had over 2,000 community members in attendance. Professor Humes ensures all students understand what resources are available throughout their education. As he teaches the introduction course, gives lectures, gives tours of facilities, en encourages clubs to present to the class, and connects them to the launcher engineering career resources. Alina Johnson is a principal lecturer in the Department of Human Development and Family Studies. Professor Johnson began her work with USU students in 1999. She has provided her genuine effort with counseling students, advising the BOL team, interacting in the classroom with students, and providing one-on-one -on -one mentoring. Professor Johnson's work with the Family Finance Club led to her involvement in the creation of the Student Money Management Center, which has helped with student retention and provided jobs for many of her mentees. Dr. Julie Lamara is a professional practice assistant professor in the Department of Applied Sciences, Technology, and Education. Dr. Lamara has been teaching at USU since 2016, becoming a professional practice assistant professor in 2019. In this time, she has created curriculum and taught 14 different courses from introductory design to senior capstone courses. Dr. Lamara actively promotes student involvement beyond the classroom by mentoring undergraduate research projects, connecting students to job shadowing and internship opportunities, mentoring students in performance challenges, and advising students cl student clubs and organizations. Atsuko Neely 
is a senior lecturer in the Department of World Languages and Cultures. Ms. Neely joined Utah State University's Japanese program in 1991, working as the sole Japanese faculty member for more than two decades to develop the Japanese program into the sustainable, thriving program it is today. She has been responsible for the development of all Japanese coursework included in the Japanese minor program and continues to teach language and culture focused upper division courses. Her passion for authentic cross-cultural experiences has guided the program to continually expand, including the implementation of an all-campus tutoring program and a dramatic increase in student enrollment since she began. Cahill Smith is a pianist and associate professor in the Department of Music. Dr. Smith joined the faculty of USU in 2019. In addition to his teaching, he works extra hours to create opportunities and environments for students to thrive, including community building through student parties, outdoor activities, master classes, and piano, ex concert, piano area concerts. He even goes to great lengths to arrange for students to sh uh, share the stage with him at contracted performance engagements. Dr. Smith's efforts on behalf of students has led the USU Collegiate Chapter to be named the music, by the Music National Teachers Association as the National Collegiate Chapter of the Year. Brent Thomas is a professor and assistant professor, is a professional practice assistant professor in the Department of Mathematics and Statistics. Dr. Thomas is in his third year as an assistant professor of mathematics and serves as the director of the Aggie Math Learning Center. In his role at the center, he provides mentoring and training to undergraduate tutors. They, in turn, directly impact a diverse USU student body as they tutor mathematics and statistics at the Aggie Math Learning Center. During the pandemic, Dr. Thomas successfully transitioned the center operations from face-to-face -to, -face to hybrid and online, which extended his influence to remote and statewide students while maintaining accessibility. Leanne Wapat is a lecturer in the Department of Data Analytics and Information Systems. Ms. Wapat served as academic director of Huntsman Scholars, mentoring the top 20% of Huntsman School of Business students in 2021, she served as a program mentor for a cohort of 35 to 40 scholars in the program. Now as the academic director, she serves over 400 students. Her work with the association has seen her accompany members to participate at the annual Silicon Slope Summit and created opportunities for them to work with female leaders in the tech sector and secured grants to facilitate new initiatives. In 2021, she served as a program mentor for a cohort of 35 to 40 scholars in the program. Please help me recognize the outstanding efforts of all of these mentors. And now, the 2023 Utah State University Undergraduate Faculty Mentor of the Year is Leanne Wapat. exciting up here. Hmm. I will now introduce you to Dr. Richard Cutler, Vice Provost for the School of Graduate Studies and Professor in the Department of Mathematics and Statistics. He will present the nominees and awardee for the Outstanding Graduate Mentor of the Year. Dr. Cutler. Thank you, Senior Vice Provost Anderson. The Outstanding Graduate Mentor of the Year recognizes faculty who have a record of excellence in graduate student mentorship. They are effective advisors who facilitate degree completion, model sound scholarship and ethical behavior, provide emotional support, extend constructive criticism, involve students in publishing and other professional activities, and prepare students for their careers after they've completed their degrees. The nominees for the award are as follows. 
And as previously, please hold your applause until um, <clears throat> all of the nominees have been introduced. Noelle Beckman is an assistant professor in the Department of Biology. Dr. Beckman has developed a thoughtful set of lab policies and onboarding materials for her students that include guidelines in authorship, lab meetings, team member roles, a code of conduct, advice on setting up an identity provider, and diversity, equity, and inclusion resources. During her classes, she emphasizes the importance of frequent communication with advisors, lab groups, and undergraduate mentees. Through Dr. Beckman's mentoring and offered resources, she provides first-year students a basis for identifying effective mentorship and the tools to start implementing it in their lab groups. Travis Dorsch is an associate professor in the Department of Human Development and Family Studies. During his nine years at Utah State, Dr. Dorsch has been the major advisor for eight doctoral students, three of whom have successfully earned their degrees, and two more on track to complete their degrees this spring. He's been a doctoral committee member for 18 additional doctorate students, six of whom have successfully graduated, and five of whom are in different departments and even different universities. Dr. Dorsch has been a committee member for an additional 23 master's students, most in either human development and family studies, or kinesiology and health science. Todd Griffith is an assistant professor in the Department of Economics and Finance. Dr. Griffith has supervised 25 students who have developed or published a research paper since 2018. Three of these papers have been published in scholarly finance journals, and several others are in various stages of the publication process. Dr. Griffith's, Griffith's commitment to students is represented in the staggering number of students he has mentored in such a short time. Matt Harris is an assistant professor in the Department of Mechanical and Aerospace Engineering. Since arriving at USU, Dr. Harris has mentored two master's students and four PhD students, of whom he's already graduated one PhD student and two more will graduate this spring. He's currently serving on 18 graduate student committees and has served on 22 committees since arriving at USU. Dr. Harris' commitment to graduate education and mentorship extends to one-on-one -on -one time spent with each student to solve research problems, improve writing abilities, and to address the personal concerns of the students. Keisha Manlove is an assistant professor in the Department of Wildland Resources. Since arriving at USU in 2018, she's made a commitment to graduate education and mentorship. She's actively recruited eight graduate students to work in her research, three of whom have already graduated with master's degrees. Dr. Manlove emphasizes mental health alongside research excellence and her students feel privileged to work with her. These students are becoming leaders in their cohort and are likely to go on to become leaders in their careers. Dan Murphy is a professor of ceramics in the Department of Art and Design. Professor Murphy has served as a department graduate committee chair for over 10 years. In this time, he has been dedicated to enriching the students in the department. Many of his students have received research funding for their various projects. His mentorship ensures that each one of his students is engaged and supported through the intense and at times draining process of the MFA program. All of Dr. Murphy's students receive, training, uh, receive teaching assistantships in which his mentorship and guidance is of the utmost importance. <clears throat> Irina Polozheva is an associate professor of developmental biology in the Department of Animal, Dairy, and Veterinary Sciences. Dr. Polozheva fully embraces graduate students into her research program. She has served as major professor for three students who have graduated, one master's and two a PhD, um, is currently the major professor for five students, one master's and four PhD, and has served on 13 other graduate committees. 
She has authored 66 peer-reviewed publications with her mentees, and her students have contributed 22 invited oral presentations and guest lectures and 45 conference pre presentations. Rebecca Walton is an Associate Dean in the College of Humanities and Social Sciences and a professor in the Department of English. Dr. Walton has a long track record of careful, intentional, and generous mentorship of graduate students. Her work with graduate students is centered in her support of a PhD students for whom she, for whom she serves as dissertation advisor or presidential doctoral research fellowship mentor. She meets with these students weekly, checking in about degree programs, publication efforts, job materials, and future plans. Dr. Walton often serves as a methods expert on student projects, giving targeted advice on research design, reading drafts of their human subjects research materials, and helping them with uh, data analysis. Mentorship is such a critical component of graduation, of graduate education, and we commend all of our college graduate mentors. <clears throat> Among these outstanding nominees, the 2023 Utah State University Outstanding Graduate Mentor of the Year is Irina Polozheva. So I think I'm the one uh, selected to say a few words. So it's the great honor to be nominated among all these people from other colleges. And it's uh, probably the most prestigious in my mind award because training new generations of scientists, it's very dear to my heart. So thank you. Next, Dr. John Ferguson, a senior lecturer in the Department of Management, will present the Faculty University Service Award. Thank you, Dr. Cutler. Um, just as a brief aside to let everyone know, we are now halfway through the program. You're doing great, keep it up. I also want to commend you uh, your behavior, unlike some award ceremonies, is greatly appreciated. Not a single presenter or host has been slapped, and we encourage you to continue this. We, especially Paul Barr. <laughs> nice, thanks. All right, the Faculty University Service Award is given out each year to recognize and encourage excellence and service to the operations and governance of the university. The nominees of this year's award include the following. Brent Black is a professor in the Department of Plants, Soils, and Climate and an Extension Fruit Specialist. Dr. Black has been at USU since 2013 with an emphasis on extension and service. He has served on numerous promotion and tenure committees, served two years on the Central Promotion and Tenure Committee, and he regularly serves as an ombuds person. Dr. Black has been an active member of many other essential committees that support the mission of USU and USU Extension and his service has made an enormous positive impact on our institution and community. Anthony Lott is an associate professor in the Department of Art and Design. Professor Lott is in his 19th year at the university. His outreach work has benefited both the Blanding and Logan campuses, organizing and curating art exhibits for artists in the Intermountain West. In addition to teaching various art courses, he has taught the emergency medical technicians and currently leads the emergency medical services class. Professor Lott has served as a USU Blanding emergency manager for four years and currently serves as the Bluff Utah Fire Chief. He also oversees the Aggie Bikes program on the Blanding campus, providing transportation and services for students. Tammy Proctor is a professor in the Department of History. 
Dr. Proctor has been with USU since 2013, serving as department head and currently as a distinguished professor. She is a founding member of the Harabi Peace Institute and has served as the advisor to the History Phi Alpha Theta Club. Dr. Proctor's work has emphasized the academic standing of USU's history department by increasing the school's rare historic cookbook collection, hosting a series of public programs, starting community services during the pandemic, and coordinating a series of live Zoom events, which have spun off into a weekly community-based Utah public radio show. Doug Ramsey. Doug Ramsey is a professor in the Department of Wildland Resources. Dr. Ramsey has been a faculty member in the department since 1989. He is on almost every department promotion and tenure committee, academic freedom and tenure committee, freedom evaluation committee, and currently serves on 14 graduate committees. Dr. Ramsey also has an extensive history with the faculty senate, having served as a member, president, and on its executive committee. Lee Rickards is an associate professor and associate department head in the Department of Animal, Dairy, and Veterinary Services. Since arriving in 2012, much of Dr. Rickards' extensive service has been focused on curriculum and student success. He chaired the University General Education Committee from 2016 to 2022, while also acting as a general education representative on the Education Policies Committee. Dr. Rickard served on the Utah System of Higher Education General Education Task Force, a role that is incredibly important for advocating on behalf of general education policies at all Utah public institutions. Al Savitsky is a professor in the Department of Biology. Dr. Savitsky came to USU in 2011 to be the head of the biology department. He is highly engaged in service to his department, university, profession, the broader community, and particularly to support underrepresented, underrepresented and minoritized students. He has championed multiple efforts at USU, including the Native American Summer Mentor Program, Society for the Advancement of Hispanic, Chicano, and Native Americans in Science, and mentoring and encouraging student academic success. Melissa Schaefer is a principal lecturer in the Department of Engineering Education. During her nearly 35 years career at USU, Professor Schaefer has selflessly provided service that has impacted students, faculty, and staff at the university, college, and department levels. Her efforts support preventing sexual misconduct, improving curriculum at the general education level, supporting numerous term faculty seeking promotion, and improving the quality of teaching for faculty. Most notably, she created the Engineering Writing Center which has assisted over 6,500 engineering students in developing their technical writing skills. Nate Trontvine is an associate professor in the Department of Kinesiology and Health Science. Dr. Trontvine has been at Utah State University since 2018, serving on numerous committees and holding prominent positions. He chairs or has chaired the Department Curriculum Committee, several search committees, the Department DEI Committee, a promotion committee, and served as a member of three tenure and promotion committees. Dr. Trump Vane's service is characterized by his commitment to helping students and faculty from diverse backgrounds succeed, resulting in meaningful impacts such as revised department mission statements, updated curricula, and advanced teaching and learning resources. Thank you to all our college nominees for your outstanding service contributions to Utah State University. <laughs> And the 2023 20, Utah Faculty University Service Awardee is Melissa Schaefer. Thank you very, very much. I've been so fortunate to build a career at Utah State University, and really service is just a way for me to give back for an institution that's given me so much professionally and personally. 
congratulations to my fellow nominees. Just keep doing what you're doing. Thank you. Next, Dr. Blake Tullis, Associate Vice President for Research and Professor at the Utah Water Research Laboratory, will present the award for Faculty Researcher of the Year. I'd like to thank Dr. Ferguson for uh, taking care of the Paul Barr joke this year. Appreciate it. Um, <clears throat> one of the core missions at Utah State University um, is research, and it's, it's a, as a representative of the Office of Research, it's a pleasure to recognize these eight, um, I guess, awardees from the colleges, all these outstanding researchers. Um, we appreciate all that you do uh, to make the world better and, and Utah, grow Utah State's reputation. Um, it's kind of a challenge to review all of these and pick one, but we did. So this year's nominees for the award are Peter Adler, is a professor in the Department of Wildland Resources. Dr. Adler is a plant ecologist interested in expanding, explaining population and community dynamics in space and time. His lab studies the coexistence and patterns of diversity, climate change impacts on plant population and communities, and plant-animal interactions. Dr. Adler's research focuses on biodiversity and species coexistence they're predicting <clears throat> and predicting the illogical impacts, ecological impacts of climate change. His climate research relies on integration of mathematical and statistical models with long-term data, set, data sets collected at a variety of spatial scales and was the base research resulting in $500,000 in funding to USU. He has published over 140 peer-reviewed papers, which have been cited nearly 20,000 times. He is been designated a Clarivate highly cited scholar in the field of ecology and evolution every year since 2017. Dr. Adler is a <clears throat> fellow of the Ecological Society of America, a Fulbright fellow, and a winner of the Quinney College of Natural Resources Researcher and Teacher of the Year Awards. Sherzad Akun Akunjanov, is an associate professor in the Department of Applied Economics. Dr. Akunjanov's research agenda is influenced by the needs of stakeholders in Utah, as well as national and international public policy issues. His research has appeared in numerous leading academic journals and has been covered by popular media outlets, including the Washington Post and the Salt Lake Tribune. Dr. Akunjanov's research program has been recognized with the 2021 Quality of Research Discover Award of the Agricultural and Applied Economics Association and the 2020 Outstanding Published Research Award of the Western Agricultural Economics Association. Brian Mark Crookston <clears throat> is an associate professor in the Department of Civil and Environmental Engineering who works at the Utah Water Research Laboratory. His productivity has energized the hydraulics program within the department and has added additional excitement and enthusiasm among the undergraduates as well as his large group of graduate students. In the last three years, he has published over 20 journal papers, secured over $3 million in funding for his research group, and has mentored and supported 22 students. Dr. Crookston's impact on the department and particularly the hydraulics program has brought significant growth. Molly Murphy is an assistant professor in the Department of Communications, Studies, and Philosophy, College of Humanities and Social Sciences. Her research utilizes rhetorical criticism in the theory and theory to examine how advocates of, for social and environmental justice navigate rhetorical challenges. Dr. Murphy is most invested in studying the, rhetorical, the, the rhetoric of activists who have achieved success in challenging the status quo to remove justice or barriers to justice. Her work has been published in outlets including Women's Studies and Communication, the Western Journal of Communication, the Howard Journal of Communications, the Southern Journal, the Southern Communication Journal, Argumentation and Advocacy and Frontiers in Communication. Jared Ragland is an assistant professor in the Department of Art and Design. Incorporating a range of photographic tactics with social science, literary, and historical research methodologies, 
His visual practice confronts issues of identity, marginalization, and history of place. Professor Ragland is a photo editor for National Geogra the National Geographic book, The Presence Photographer, 50 Years Inside the Oval Office. He also has worked on assignments for National Geographic in the Balkans, East Africa, and Haiti. He is a 2020 Magnum Foundation grantee, 2020 and 21, or 2020 to 21, Do Good Fund Artist in Residence, 2021, Photo Lucida Critical Mass Top 50 Photographer, and 2022, Columbus State Artist in Residence. Yi Rao, is an assistant professor in the Department of Chemistry and Biochemistry. Dr. Rao joined USU in 2017, where, <clears throat> where, he re where his research interests focus on interfacial physical chemistry for, for environmental issues, solar energy conversion, and catalysts. His research activities have consistently been well supported by both government and private agencies, with total research funding of over $2.4 million. Dr. Rao has presented 45 seminars at universities, both in the United States and internationally. He has mentored six graduate students, 18 undergraduate students, two visiting scholars, six senior scholars, five visiting students, and two high school students while at Utah State University. Lucas Rentschler is an associate professor in the Department of Economics and Finance, the director of the Experimental Economics Laboratory and Experimental Economics Program at the Center for Growth and Opportunity. <clears throat> he research, his research uses both game theory and experiments to inform policy relevant questions and focus on three areas. First, criminal justice reform, particularly policing incentives and the plea bargain process. Second, misinformation and content modulation policies and social, on social media and third, behavior in auctions and contests. His research has appeared in a variety of journals such as the Proceedings of the National Academy of Sciences, the Journal of Economic Theory, Game and Economic Behavior, and Experimental Economics. Colby Tofelgrer <clears throat> is an assistant professor in the School of Teacher Education and Leadership. Dr. Tofelgrer's uh, scholarship examines the structures, systems, and practices that foster inequalities or inequities across STEM. She has been published in the Journal of Research in Science Teaching, Journal of Science and Technology, and Theory and Practice in Rural Education. She has received multiple national honors and awards, including the 2019 Award for Significant Contribution to Education Measurement, Educational Measurement and Research Methodologies from Division D of the American Education Research Association, and the 2020 Early Career Science Teacher Education, Educator of the Year Award from the Association of Science Teacher Educators. Uh, congratulations to our outstanding uh, fac faculty researchers. <laughs> and it is my pleasure to announce that the USU Faculty Researcher of the Year is Peter Adler. Thank you very much for this. I feel like it's a little awkward, an individual award for research, because research is a team sport. Think of those 140-something papers they mentioned. I'm the sole author on exactly one of them. <laughs> so this, the credit for this goes to all the great mentors I've had, great graduate students and postdocs, and all the collaborators. Couldn't do it without all of them. And it's fun to work with talented people and write good papers. Thank you. Uh, and now, uh, please welcome back Provost Smith to present the next award. <laughs> the 
The Eldon J. Gardner Teacher of the Year Award recognizes excellence primarily in teaching. The nominees for this year's award are Sarah Tulane. Sarah Tulane is a clinical associate professor in the Department of Human Development and Family Studies. Her research focus is on child and adolescent development, interactive technology use and relationships, and family life education methodology. Dr. Tulane's research methods course is one of the most popular in the department. She has received the highest levels of training from the Empowering Teaching Excellence Program. Dr. Tulane encourages and helps students apply what they learn in community activities and service. <coughs> Hannah Mae Lewis. Hannah Lewis is a lecturer for the Department of Mathematics and Statistics. Dr. Lewis joined the faculty at USU Eastern in 2020 after completing her PhD from USU. Her professional interests include the development and implementation of growth mindset structured assessments, validation of assessments, faculty and graduate student professional development, and faculty to student mentorship. She has a passion for helping future teachers appreciate math and pass that on to their students. She incorporates lots of technology into her teaching to help students see meaningful and powerful applications of mathematics. Colin B. Phillips. Colin Phillips is an assistant professor in the Department of Civil and Environmental Engineering. Dr. Phillips' research is how natural and urban landscapes respond to climate change and natural disasters. Specifically, he studies the intersections of rivers, landscapes, and climate, and the conservation of natural resources. Dr. Phillips teaches both undergraduate and graduate courses in fluid mechanics and open channel hydraulics, and serves as mentor to multiple graduate and undergraduate students. He is an active member of the American Geophysical Union and has served in multiple community outreach programs. His most recent awards include fellowships from the Nature Conservancy and the, Na and the National Science Foundation. Cahill Smith. Cahill Smith is an associate professor in the Department of Music. His primary teaching role is in one-on-one -on -one piano instruction, otherwise known as applied piano. His teaching philosophy is, quote, to assess, to model, and to inspire. He goes far beyond what is required of an excellent teacher. He provides piano students with all of the time they need with him to learn, practice, and apply skills and prepare for performance. He regularly makes time for informal career counseling and hosts events for his students in order to build a stronger sense of community and belonging. Beth Baseri. Beth is an assistant professor in the Department of English. Since the start of her USU career in 2019, Dr. Basseri has transformed the teaching experience of many, many teachers and students. As the director of composition, she mentors approximately 30 graduate interns, 20 lecturers, and 15 adjunct instructors of English 1010 and 2010. She has significantly improved the quality of writing instruction, both in her teaching of English 6820 the Graduate Composition Pedagogy course, and in her institution of monthly professional development sessions for all the composition teachers. Dr. Passeri has shifted the culture of teaching, writing, 
at the university to one that connects research to teaching. And that uh, promotes collaboration, sustained reflection, and vibrant teaching. Reagan Sigard. Reagan Sigard is an instructor in the Department of Data Analytics and Information Systems. Her teaching philosophy describes her intentional and market-driven curriculum where she regularly collaborates with faculty and treats students as the customer to improve her courses. During the past three years, she's taught courses in data analytics and information systems using various modalities and at many different levels. Yet, she consistently has strong and outstanding course evaluations and positive student feedback. She's equally engaged with students outside the classroom through clubs, business visits, trips, and competitions. Eric Lamalfa. Eric Lamalfa is an associate, prof uh, excuse me, an assistant professor. I shouldn't have announced the TNP results. Uh, <laughs> kind of a slip of that time. Eric is an assistant professor in the Department of Wildland Resources. No wonder they turned the mic off earlier. <laughs> Dr. Lamalfa's teaching philosophy is to use a student-centered approach emphasizing the development of critical thinking skills by leveraging differences in student backgrounds and experience to promote communication and collaboration around natural resource issues. His approach is helping to produce a cohort of natural resource managers and researchers who will be able to navigate and contribute positively to ecological and social landscapes in the future. He values students as individuals and makes an effort to get to know each of them and connect them to the course content through their experiences and passions. Tyson Sorensen. Tyson Sorensen is an associate professor in the Department of Applied Science, Technology, and Education. Dr. Sorensen is an exceptional teacher advisor and scholar. He has taught over 2,300 graduate and undergraduate students and consistently has terrific teaching evaluations. Dr. Sorensen is also a catalyst for diversity-focused learning opportunities as evidenced by his development of multiple study abroad opportunities and his efforts starting a minorities in agriculture natural resources, and related sciences chapter on the USU campus. Thank you again to all these exceptional faculty members who prioritize teaching excellence here at Utah State. And the 2023 Utah State University Eldon J. Gardner Teacher of the Year is Beth Baisari. Thank you so much. Uh, teaching is also a team sport. In my 20 years of teaching, I've observed over 450 teachers, and I've learned from every single one of them. And I've also learned from every single one of my students. So I'd like to thank um, the committee, as well as USU, for allowing me to come and continue teaching, which is so dear to my heart. Thank you. Next on the program is Ken White, Vice President for Extension and Dean of the College of Agriculture and Applied Sciences, who will announce the E.G. Peterson Extension Award recipient. 
Thank you, Provost Smith. The E.G. Peterson Extension Award was established in 1986 to honor the Utah State University Extension faculty member who, in keeping with the mission and goals of Utah State University, has provided outstanding service to the state of Utah. This is a career award and the most prestigious of all Extension Awards. And this year's awardee is <laughs> Denise Stewartson. Denise is uh, doing, conducting university business right now off campus. She's an extension associate professor in the Department of Applied Sciences, Technology, and Education, and is the Utah Agriculture in the Classroom Director. This organization has impacted the learning of over 200,000 students and approximately 4,000 4, teachers. She's committed to supporting teachers by being present at conferences, visiting classrooms, and using her materials to teach lessons and train teachers. Professor Stewartson makes a special effort to engage with USU students by teaching an agricultural literacy course, combining service learning and a meaningful community engagement with instruction and reflection. She was honored about two weeks ago at our Extension Annual Conference, and as, as you know, she'll be recognized and honored at our commencement, general commencement uh, ceremony in May. So on behalf of, and we'll forego the picture. <laughs> Congratulations to, to me. All right, let's see, and. Vice President Barreau will now present the D. Wynne Thorne Career Research Award. Lisa. Thank you, Vice President White. Named after USU's first Vice President for Research, the D. Wynne Thorne Career Research Award honors faculty that have exceptional research careers and have produced a significant portion of their work while at Utah State University. The award is given annually to one outstanding university senior researcher, recommended by a committee of peers and previous award recipients. In the past, we haven't publicly announced the nominees for this award, since it's an open nomination process and not made by each college. This year we decided we wanted to take every opportunity to recognize our outstanding faculty researchers. So we'll be recognizing our D. Wynne Thorne nominees going forward. Here are our nominees for this year. Craig Jessup is a professor in the Department of Music. Dr. Jessup came to Utah State University in 2008 as a department head, later becoming the founding dean of the Kane College of the Arts. His central focus is conducting choral performance with notable tenures with the United States Air Force, the Mormon Tabernacle Choir, and a founding role in the American Festival Chorus and Orchestra. The reach of Dr. Jessup's work is truly remarkable. He performed with the Tabernacle Choir during the opening ceremonies of the 2020, or 2002 Olympic Games. During the last two years of the COVID pandemic, his virtual American Festival chorus and orchestra performances reached over 24,000 views. Locally, Dr. Jessup has participated in 13 free Veterans Day concerts from the American Festival Chorus and Orchestra and the Utah Symphony Orchestra, which were presented as a gift to the community and were, at capa were each at capacity, serving over 20,000 patrons. Through his efforts and performances, Dr. Jessup has raised over $2.2 million in research funding and educational grants. He currently hosts weekly radio and television broadcasts that reach an average of 2 million listeners weekly. Silvana Martini is a professor in the Department of Nutrition, Dietetics, and Food Science. Dr. Martini's research interests are related to the physiochemical and sensorial characterization of lipids. She studies how the quality of food materials is affected by their nano, micro, and macroscopic characteristics. 
The innovative nature of Dr. Martini's work in identifying novel methods to process and manipulate fats in foods has gained the attention of food producers, academics, and government agencies. Over the years, Dr. Martini has published more than 120 papers in peer-reviewed journals. She has participated in more than 190 conferences, was an invited speaker in more than 30 international conferences, and has published 11 book chapters. She has gained international recognition in the use of high-intensity ultrasound and attracted several undergraduate and graduate students, as well as postdoctoral fellows and visiting scientists worldwide to gain experience in the crystallization of fats. Irina Polyjeva, our just named outstanding graduate mentor of the year, arrived at Utah State University in 2011 and is a multiple time nominee for the DeWin Thorne Career Research Award. Her research activities are focused on the production of transgenic animals using somatic cell nuclear transfer for both biomedical and agricultural applications. She also studies genome editing to enhance livestock production traits and disease resistance. In her field, Dr. Polyjeva is listed among the top 1% of the most cited researchers worldwide, with nearly 2,000 recognized citations. Her research has earned nearly $16.5 million in grants, many involving student trainee participation. Jack Schmidt is a professor in the Department of Watershed Sciences and the Janet Quinney Lawson Chair in Colorado River Studies. Since arriving at Utah State University in 1991, Dr. Schmidt has published 68 peer-reviewed articles in high-quality journals in his field, as well as two peer-reviewed books and 29 book chapters. Dr. Schmidt has obtained over $9 million in research funding and has accumulated over 6,700 citations, according to Google Scholar. In 2020, he published five white papers that comprehensively evaluate the range of plausible water supply management approaches that could meet water security and reliability needs of Colorado River water users. These papers also predict the ecological outcomes of these approaches and develop new tools and approaches by which the river ecosystem outcomes of water supply decisions can be considered. A hallmark of Dr. Schmidt's research career has been collecting rare, hard-won data sets that have put him in a unique position to answer critical questions. He has operated from the beginning of his career under the principle that, as a scientist, he has the obligation to tell the complete, unvarnished truth that he finds in the data, no matter how inconvenient that may be or how it may impact his own relationships or prospects for funding from a certain agency. <laughs> While this has put him in some very difficult and stressful situations throughout his career, Dr. Schmidt's commitment to the truth has led to invaluable benefits for the public good. David Tarbotten is the director of the Utah Water Research Laboratory and a professor of civil engineering in the College of Engineering. Since joining the USU faculty in 1990, Dr. Tarbotten has made significant research contributions by publishing 196 papers with more than 15,000 citations. He is internationally and nationally recognized as a world-class, top-notch hydrologist. Through his leadership in the development of a system called HydroShare, his work has transformed findable, accessible, interoperable, or on reusable data and model, modeling sharing among water researchers around the world. His contributions have had significant worldwide impacts on flood mapping, water model forecasts, hydrology teaching, and water resources engineering. Closer to home, his work with the Great Salt Lake Strike Team on the sensitivity of the Great Salt Lake to hydro hydrologic inputs is informing decision makers who are addressing critically low lake levels. Dr. Tarbotten's work has earned him 70 grants with $24 million going to fund initiatives at Utah State University. It is with great pleasure that I announce this year's recipient of the D. Wynne Thorne Career Research Award. 
And that recipient is David Tarbotten. Thank you. There are so many who could be deserving of this, so I'm, and they could have easily been chosen. I'm honored and humbled to receive this. Uh, I guess I'm a water engineer and a hydrologist, and uh, just as the spring runoff this year is going to be a high point, this is a high point in my career. Um, <laughs> thanks to my family, my students, uh, my colleagues. Without them, I couldn't have done it, so I really appreciate this. Thank you. We will now present our final award of the program, the Kazir Professor Lifetime Achievement Award, which will be presented by Kent Alder, Chair of the USU Board of Trustees. Thank you, Vice President Barrow. Before I announce the final award, I want to thank you all once more for your research, your teaching, your service, your extension work. These qualities are exemplified by nominees of the Kazir Professional Lifetime Achievement Award. This award is given annually to recognize a senior faculty member who has demonstrated 20 plus years of consistent excellence in each aspect of the role statement. Here are the nominees for 2023. Mark Brunson. Mark is a professor in the Department of Environment and Society. Dr. Brunson has published over 120 peer-reviewed scientific and technical publications on a wide range of topics in the realm of human-environment interactions, using concepts and techniques from social and ecological sciences to learn how to improve land resource management for the sustainable conservation of nature. As a research researcher, he is best known for his contributions to the field of rangeland science, where he was among the first researchers to study the broad human dimensions of rangeland ecosystems. Other continuing themes in his research, including exploration, exploring the effects of human activities and policies on the natural qualities of national parks and seeking ways to reduce the wildland fire in ways that address human concerns and preferences. During his time at Utah State, Dr. Brunson has taught 10 graduate and 15 undergraduate courses on a wide variety of topics from environmental behavior change to communications to ecology and management. He has mentored 50 graduate students as major professor and served on more than 100 other thesis and dissertation committees. John Gilbert. John is a professor of economics in the Department of Economics and Finance. Since arriving at USU in 2001, Dr. Gilbert has engaged in teaching, research, and service in the fields of international and computational economics. He has published 55 refereed articles in academic journals, six books, and over 20 chapters in contributed volumes. Dr. Gilbert has been awarded the Abe Fellowship, Veterans Upwards Bound Program, and Erskine Fellowships, and has been a visiting professor at academic institutions around the world. In addition to his research, Professor Gilbert has been a pioneer in the creation and adopt, adoption of computational models and methods for use in economic classrooms, and his simulations are in widespread use around the globe. He has also served the international community extensively by engaging with multilateral institutions and development agencies to build policy cap capacity in developing countries. His workshops on methods 
for trade policy an analysis have informed trade policy officials and young academic researchers in numerous countries, including Laos, People's Democratic Republic, Mongolia, and Thailand. John Neely. John is professor of ceramics in the Department of Art and Design. Professor Neely has been a faculty member at Utah State University since 1984 and is the most senior member of the Department of Art and Design. He has served on countless committees and in numerous leadership positions. As an artist and researcher, Professor Neely has had his work featured in over 100 domestic group exhibitions and solo and international exhibitions. Professor Neely is recognized as an expert in clay, glaze, and kiln firing technology. He has published his research and the results of his creative and scientific research in several professional journals, including Ceramics, Art and Perception, Ceramics Monthly, Ceramics Technical, Clay Times, and the National Council on Education in the Ceramic Arts Journal. In 2013, Professor Neely was awarded Utah State University's D. Wynn Thorne Career Research Award by the Office of Research and Graduate Studies. He is the first and only fine artist to receive this distinction. David Peake. David is a professor in the Department of Physics. During his career at Utah State, Dr. Peake has been the Physics Department Associate Head, taught 16 separate courses, and supervised the department's Society of Physics student program, which won national acclaim as outstanding chapter for 10 consecutive years. He has written winning proposals for the university's outstanding teaching department and the American Physical Society's National Department of Distinction Awards. Since 2006, Dr. Peak has been running an annual boot camp for Utah State's prospective Goldwater Scholars, the preeminent national scholarship for undergraduates majoring in science, math, and engineering. The success rate of his program has placed USU in the top 25 of over 600 college and universities that have had at least one scholar during this time. For his teaching and mentoring, Dr. Peak has been named Carnegie Professor of the Year and received the Council on Undergraduate Research Goldwaller Scholars Outstanding Faculty Mentor Award. Carl White. Carl is a professor in the Department of Psychology. Dr. Wright White is the founding director of the National Center for Hearing Assessment and Management, a professor of psychology and the Emma Eccles Jones Endowed Chair in Early Childhood Education. He was originally trained as a statistician and research methodologist. He was the principal investigator for the first large-scale research project investigating the efficacy and efficiency of universal newborn hearing screening. Since that time, he has devoted most of his professional activities to developing more efficient early hearing detection and intervention programs through research, improving public health information systems, training and technical assistance, and information dissemination. Dr. White has served on various committees focused on deaf or hard of hearing issues throughout the world and has been recognized with awards from such diverse organizations as the Deafness Research Foundation, the American Association for Speech, Language, and Hearing, the Alali Yavar John National Institute for Hearing Handicap in Mumbai, India, the Swedish Society of Medicine, and the Alexander Graham Bell Association for the Deaf and Hard of Hearing. A final congratulations to these exceptional career nominees. Our final award, the Utah State University 
Kazir Professor Lifetime Achievement Awardee for 2023 is John Neely. Listen to all these start dates from people, and I realize that this is kind of a long service award. Um, I know that when I started, I was young and foolish, and I'm no longer young. Uh, anyway, my thanks to uh, my colleagues and students. I'm I'm flattered. Okay. I will now ask Provost Smith and Vice President Barrow to close our ceremony. All right. Well, at this point, uh, Lisa and I have just a few things to say to bring today's uh, ceremony to a close. Uh, what I'd like to do is uh, just say congratulations uh, again to uh, all, uh, all of our awardees. Uh, and congratulations to all of you uh, here today, recipients and nominees alike. Uh, you've had such, uh, we've had a terrific time today celebrating your accomplishments and hope you know how much we appreciate the work uh, you, do to, you do to support USU and our students. Uh, we're looking forward to a, another great year of research, teaching, service, and outreach with you. And uh, before we end, we would like to thank those who helped put this program together and recognize our faculty. Thank you to the nomination and awardee committees for each of the awards. Thank you to the student pianist uh, from our Department of Music who are providing music today. And we appreciate the effort of staff members from the research communications team, provost's office, and School of Graduate Studies who have worked to plan and manage this event. So a round of applause for all of those great folks. Lisa. Well, this is the end of our program, but don't leave quite yet. Uh, we would like to invite all of the winners to the stage for a group photo. We know how fun those are to look at in subsequent years. Uh, we would also like uh, to welcome all recipients, nominees, their families, uh, and friends to join us on the stage for photos uh, to commemorate uh, your awards this year. Next, we'd like to invite all of you to join us for a reception out in the lobby and in rooms 205 and 207 where you can enjoy some food and celebrate with our awardees. Also tonight, I ask that you look back towards campus where you'll see a glimpse of the old main tower the A will be lit blue and shining all night, and that's to reward our faculty recipients of the awards. Um, in addition, banners will be hung throughout our campus to share your accomplishments with the entire campus community. Thank you, everyone, for being here again, and congratulations to our winners. <laughs>